Welcome along to the Wixie Boy Kitchen, episode four, series three. Come in, come on in. So today, what are we gonna do? So I'm in lockdown at the moment, like a lot of people in this country and around the world. Um, COVID-19 is pretty rampant at the moment. So I've decided to self-isolate. What am I gonna do with myself? Cook and edit. Maybe make some music, but let's just, just do some cooking. So, today we're going to do carbonara. Um, there's a little bit of a story behind this recipe. It's something that I made up myself. Me and my beautiful girlfriend went to Rome um, a few years back now, five years or so. Uh, we got recommended this great little restaurant in near our apartment. Um, we decided to check it out. Amazing place. Uh, big groups of Italians all sat together. I mean, they wouldn't be doing that now, admittedly, but all sat together, eating for about four hours, just grazing really so yeah we sort of went through the rest went through the uh, menu and we we're a bit like right so what should we have and he's like waiters like what do you want for your first course oh i don't know um second course uh, i think we're just going to go for a carbonara see how we go um so yeah we decided to do that and, it, and that, the carbonara was just it was just incredible it's like this creaminess it's so light and i was like like a lot of people in uk i expect we used to these really stodgy, horrible carbonaras. Um, like, it's almost like we use bechamels and like cheese sauces with lots of flour and that and milk. And it just becomes very heavy and it's, it's just put, it put me off them from an early age, really. You know, I don't want to slag my mother off because it wasn't her that did, that introduced this style to me. It's just Italian restaurants, you know, they, in the UK, they're not Italian restaurants. They're <laughs> shit. Right. So. For this, so then I thought, okay, so what does this taste like? So it tastes to me almost like a hollandaise sort of, a light hollandaise sauce, which gave me the idea. It's like, okay, well, I can make hollandaise sauce. I can make ben eggs benedict. Something I learned when I was a chef. It's quite a chef-y thing to make. Um, I will show you, but it's not, it's not that hard, I don't think. It's, it takes a bit of patience and it just, you have to be very careful with it because you don't want, you have to cook it over a bain-marie and you don't want, the eggs to scramble basically that's that's what you're trying to avoid um we're not going to go full hollandaise so you don't really need the tarragon and the white wine reduction for this um and you can do i did start off sort of using that but it probably makes it a little bit too rich i would say um i will probably add a splash of white wine vinegar a little bit of white wine uh veggies wise we just need to we're just going to use probably half an onion or maybe a small onion a uh, handful of mushrooms that's probably about it for that we're going to chuck some pancetta in there if you're a vegetarian obviously you can leave that out if you're vegan you're pretty screwed really because you can't eat eggs so move on so what do we need to do first we need to do the spaghetti don't we because we need to pre-cook that bad boy and then we can, we can get it into the dish at the end right in it in it boy so let's get started with this right so let's get on with the spaghetti okay so we got the uh we got the hot water on what i like to use for my pasta and spaghetti i'm gonna use spaghetti for this so i like to use this stuff pasta rocks really good it's like salt um himalayan salt you stick it in when you're cooking the pasta it gives it a nice saltiness but you have to take it out after a little while so what have i got here so i've got some nice spaghetti i'm going to just use this up so i mean that's probably slightly too much for two people but we're going to go in with that so we've got the spaghetti we've got the salt we're just boiling up a bit of water i'm going to cook this up first before we move on to the next stage but actually while i'm doing that let's cook let's slice up the onion Put a towel under it this time because it was sliding around a lot last time, wasn't it? Right, so. Oh, this is fucking annoying. Right. Right, so. Let's put a towel under it. We've got it under it. Let's get ourselves a little onion. Get me a knife. So. We're going to finally slice this. Like I showed you in the last video. Uh, no, what was it the last one or was it the... No, it wasn't the last one, was it? It was the first one. I don't know. Right. 
So like I said, you want to do this. This has to be really fine this time. Go in like that. Because I'm using the whole onion, I'm just going to bin that. Just get rid of that. Job of that, did I? So the kettle's boiled. So perfect time. Let's get this on. You obviously want to cover that. I'm just going to stick it on that one, actually. Right away. Is this recyclable? No, I think it is. Never know these days. Let's get it in there. Recycling centre can sort that out, I'm sure. Right, as you can see, I've done one thing, I've made an absolute mess. Never mind. All good. Uh, we need, what do we need? What do we need? We need some muscle arms. Some nice. A bit of rocket's nice for this as well, I would suggest. Serving it with a bit of rocket. Um, these aren't great, actually, but it's a little for you. Take hand for these. Uh, so you want to finely slice these, really. Just um, be careful with those fingers. So probably want to turn this down a little bit. So we've got the onions on. We've got the mushrooms prepared. Spaghetti's on. Um, so you need a clear bowl. Essential, you need a clear bowl. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a bain If you're not sure what that is, basically, we'll have some water like this simmering away. We'll have this on top, away from the heat, away from the water, but so it's not touching the, the water. We don't want it touching the water. And we're getting that heat and you slow, it's a slow way of cooking things. Um, they also use it to keep things hot in restaurants and things, um, or keep things warm, should I say. So we're gonna get the onions on now. Um, Got one on a very low heat, so we do not want to brown them. So they're going to go in. Chuck a little bit of salt in. Okay, now. We may as well get those on because we want to cook those really slowly. I think the secret to a lot of dishes is cooking these onions really slowly, I think. Um, like I say, it's very important not to brown them. So you want to get these flavors out and they st almost like so they start crisp caramelizing. Um, it, just, it just gives the dish such a nice, in all my dishes I do this really, just gives the dish such a nice starting point, I think. Um, same with risottos. We'll show you that maybe tomorrow. Um, even more so in that, I mean, you, you, you really do build it up in that because you start adding the wine and you start adding the stock and the rice and it just really, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful experience. Right, so, sweated down the onions. I've added some mushrooms to it. Um, just done that really slowly. Bit of oil. Uh, drain the uh, pasta. Good thing to do is run a bit of oil through it just to stop it sticking together. So you can see it's nice. Ready to go into the mix in a minute. So now we're gonna get this bain marie on. So we're going to use the water that we use for the pasta. Um, yeah, we're just going to create some heat there. I'm going to get this on. We're going to get the egg yolks in, and we're going to start building this up in the wok. Let's fry up the pancetta first while we're while the bain marie is getting hot. Uh, stick a little bit of oil in there for the minute. Get those in there. Right, so that's that on. So, like I said earlier, we're going to use five eggs for ours because we've got shitloads of eggs. So, so we need to separate the egg, the egg yolks, with the whites. So, just use the shell. Right. Okay. So.
So the pancetta's nearly done, we're just going to finish that this off before we start this sauce. I think we've got our onions there all ready to go, so... Once you get to this stage, it's quite an easy build really, because you're just ready to go. Everything's cooked, it just needs to be binded together. Right, so now we're going to start the sauce. You need to get yourself a nice whisk. Now, we get this on, we just start whisking it from the off. You've got to be very careful with this. I think probably a good idea is just to add a touch of water. Whatever you do, do not leave this on the stove. You just have to just continuously whisk it like this. A little bit of salt in there. So you're basically just cooking this egg really slowly and what will happen, it will cream up into a sauce. Very much like a hollandaise, like I said. Um, you do have to do a few things at once here, so... I'm going to have to start heating this other stuff through because once this is ready, we have to serve it straight away because it's... Otherwise it goes cold straight away. Gonna add a little splash of, I'll tell you what we can do actually. We'll get this on with some wine in it. We'll get the wine on now. So, little glug of wine. Just get it on a low, we'll get the onions and all that in there. The onions and the mushrooms. Beautiful. Waste in here then. Okay. Right. Okay. That's good. Now see that I left that for one second and I nearly lost it. So as you can see, it's getting starting to froth up now and starting to air's being created inside it. Probably should put some butter in. That's what we make a hollandaise with, but. I want to try and keep this as healthy as we can. So I don't normally do that. I'm going to put a splash of white wine vinegar. I'm going to go over a bit of rice with rice wine vinegar. Probably a bit too much, but that's fine. Now. now, you can see this is already starting to thicken. I sometimes like to take it off the heat when it gets to this stage. Just see, let me show you that. Really is starting to thicken up nicely. Oh, shit. Cut. So, this is thickening up nicely. Still got a bit of a way to go with it. Good thing to do is just keep taking it off the heat and just being careful. What you don't want to do is for it to all stick around the sides here. As you can see, it's not it's not really sticking, which is good. If it is. Get yourself, I mean look at that, you can see that that is really starting to thicken up nicely now. You've got to be so careful with the heat though because any, if it's too, if the bowl's too hot it will all stick to the side and just scramble. So I think what we do now, we'll just take that off a minute, just get these, get the spaghetti in there. I think we're going to stick a little bit of butter in, you know, just to, you know, just a little wedge, really. So what we want to do now here is just heat, heat all this spaghetti up. Got it on a lowish heat, just whack that up a bit clean this stove, it's annoying. Right. So we persevere with this.
this is nearly done now. Just gonna take that off the heat. So any time that you wanna that you need to never leave it just going, you always have to take it off. You've got to see to something else. Got some bread in the oven which I think we can probably take. Right, that'll be fine, we can leave that in there. Uh, I did put a little bit of garlic in here as well, so only one clove. So that's looking good actually. Pancetta's all done. Uh, feel free to add a little bit of water to this. You, what you, you don't want it to go stodgy. You want it to stay nice and fresh like this. So I've got a nice little handful of parsley out of the garden. Just going to chop that into it. Okay. It's all looking good. I think I'm going to turn that off now and we're going to finish this off. As you can see really starting to thicken up nicely now. Just gonna give this one more blast. Try not to scramble it. Um, just gonna fold it in actually, just to see. Your biggest danger is it sticking to this side. One second too long and it will just go like an omelette. Yeah, that looks, that looks good actually. So, we're pretty much done I think. So now what we do, we tip this into here. Now we've got no heat in this pan because we do not want to scramble this. Oh, look at that. That is really good much saucier than normal. One of the best ones I've made, I think. So just stick this on a low heat and be careful. I think oh, I'll do actually is just stick it on here. To just keep it heated because the trouble is it goes cold quick. There we go. Carbonara done the proper way. So we're just going to finish it off with a little bit of rocket, a little bit of balsamic and some crispy onions I think. Look at that. There you go my love. <laughs> okay well thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, turn on the notifications and all that jazzamataz. Um, follow me Instagram, Mad About Putin. We're going to launch that in the summer, but probably not going to do that now, as we're going to be stuck in here. Um, join us next time. We'll probably be doing a little risotto, I think, next. Keep the Italian theme going. Our uh, overseas friends. Peace out. <laughs>